So tell me how this all started. Well, it all started with Charles, with the live video that Charles did on Facebook, mm -hmm. where he made the call that he needed food. And I contacted him and just happened so someone called and said that they had, they called me and said that they had food, but I had all this food and didn't know what to do with it. So I called Charles up, he came and got it. We fed people three days that week for him. I think we fed about 1,500 people that week. And with Easter coming up, we thought about the kids. So normally my organization does stuff like this, but with everybody being on lockdown, we didn't know where to go, what to do or how to do it. And then when I saw what he was doing, I was like, you know, and this was Monday. Charles, how many kids are in the hotels? And he gave me a number, and I was like, okay, we'll work on baskets. And called Diana, my vice president, and my grandkids, and it was like, okay, we're going to start reaching out to people asking for baskets. And we post on Facebook that this is what we were doing. And people just started sending $5, $10, candy, baskets, you know, different stuff like that. It was like, okay, we need 135, but we came up with a little over 200. So my thing is when we ask for a little and everybody's willing to give a little, you never know what you're going to end up with until it's done. We were already working on baskets before all of this started. I had a program set up for May 2nd where we were going to honor grandmothers with baskets. Storm came, I call it a storm, I won't call it that other word that you guys use. So now, this is what we ended up with, our children, and that's how it got started. Um, what do you think uh, is going to, these kids who are, you know, w whether they're living in hotels or motels, what, what kind of effect or what kind of feeling do you think that these kids are going to get once they receive these? Joy. You know, it's going to be excitement because they're going to see that they're not alone. Someone else cares. And that's my purpose, to let them know that someone else cares, regardless of what you're going through. You don't have to go through it by yourself because we care. There are other people out there who care. And I wish I could see their faces, just the joy that it would bring, you know. Christmas morning, but it's Easter. <laughs>